Hello, in this video we're going to go over generators. Generators are ways to do automated textures on your um, object um, and it uses utility maps to create effects. Um, and these maps are up here. If we go up to mode and we need to go to bake mesh maps. So we need to create these maps and um, output size they usually have pretty high up to like 4k if you're not seeing the layout like this you can always go up to window and reset UI um, and these are all the maps here and I wouldn't add these other ones um, for now I would just keep it all by default except for the output size I would bring up and now I'm gonna say bake selected textures Okay, so it just finished. Um, it should have like a, um, a progress bar in the bottom and you should have seen the textures go over it. Um, so I'm gonna go to return to painting mode and you won't see any difference, but if you go up to material, you'll see over here, there's a section called mesh maps. So I can click on these and see what they're doing. And um, one here, this is ambient occlusion. It kind of looks like it's being lit, right? There's wherever there's a crevice, it's getting darker. Or when the there's a where the geometry is getting close to it, each other, it starts to get darker. So like there and there, and this can be used um, as a you can use this to make dirt, like a dirt effect, um, to add variation in color, that kind of thing. And then curvature, this will, wherever there is a convex, wherever your geometry is turning into or coming out, like a convex curve like that, then it will turn white. And whenever it goes in, let's see, you can kind of see on the handle, um, it's going to get darker. Okay, so let's use these. I'm going to go back to my material and we want to be working non-destructively so let's let's make a fill here and let me bring up my reference so here's my reference i just looked up like a dinged up table old table and what i want is something like this where it gets a lighter color where it's exposed wood and it is going into the table like it's been um like a a piece of it has been knocked away or and then you won't see any of the varnish or anything like that so it's gonna be a lighter color so what I'll do is um, I'll try to match that color or you can color pick it if you want so I'm just gonna try to match that color by eye so let's do something like this And this is obviously too shiny. So I'm gonna go down, change the roughness to be pretty rough. And then I am gonna go, so I don't want any metallic. I think that everything else is fine. And I'll say this edge wear. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a mask. Oops, sorry. Add a black mask. And then I'm going to right click over this and say add generator. So the top one, add generator. And then you have to click on the generator button. And you'll see you have a bunch of different options. You have like a dirt one, you have dripping, fiberglass, ambient occlusion, linear, the curvature position so there's a lot of good ones in here it's, it might be a good idea just to play around and see what they do um, but the one that I use a lot is this metal edge and that's perfect what we want I'm gonna do metal edge wear click on that you'll see it's you'll get this overall kind of effect and I'm gonna go back to my material because I think that is too yellow so I'm gonna bring this down 
And that's the beauty of working with mass. And I'm going to bring down the height a bit so it's like going notching in. Because you can make these um, global changes easily. So now I'm going to go back to the edgeware, metal edgeware. And in here are different kind of settings. Um, all these settings are different per per um, generator. So I usually don't memorize what each one does. I just play around with dial. I just dial it up and down until I get something I want. Um, so I'm gonna change that. That makes something interesting. And we'll clear contrast. that down a bit maybe Something like this so you have that um, and you'll notice that it gives kind of a even look that's what these generators kind of do um, there's a 3d computerized look to it so you need to add other things to this to make it not feel so computerized so one thing you can do is adding a um, fill layer. And we're going to use another material, another um, another texture in here. Well, I'll type in grunge to mask out areas so that I have areas that where the, it's appearing and areas where it's disappearing. So let's see. Maybe something like this. And it's not getting what I want. It's because you have a different options here. So I'm going to go over here and say multiply. And now I'm getting areas where it's appearing and disappearing. So if you're wondering what's going on with your mask, if it's not so clear to you, you can go over here, go, go to mask, and you can see what that's doing. So I'm like, uh, oh, it's okay, but maybe since I, ha I put in this here, maybe I can change it more contrasty and maybe I can bring up the tiling amount so it's showing up more and then I can go and look at the material. Is that getting close to where I want it to be appearing and disappearing? And um yeah so you can do that kind of thing if this is not getting where you want it to be and i might try a different material that than that you can add another paint layer and then i'm going to use a different brush and be more intentional about what i want um, the areas i like and the areas i don't like so i can go over to here Find something more natural looking, probably dirt splash might be a good one. And I'm going to hit X and remove areas I, where it's too much. And then I can add areas if I want. I'm hitting X for that hotkey so you can get that kind of effect. And this is obviously too yellow still. So, like that. Okay, and um, you're painting out the areas that look bad, like this. So if that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna get rid of that. There you go. Um, so just play around with this and make it so that it's not consistent all the way through. You want to just add randomness to it. Well, not randomness. You want to have be purposeful. So, like areas where it would be most exposed, probably like the corners um, or the places where a person would be sitting, would have the most wear. So, you're thinking about that, how this thing's being used, and adding your details um, intentionally. So, I'm going to get rid of that. And you can also look at your base color to see how that's looking. Maybe I need 
need to make this brighter. Like just enough. Add a little bit darker like that. Okay. Yep. Um, and then you can even do things like if this color isn't good for you, you can even take what your your texture here and uh, adjust that. So even if I can, I can even even start with something different. Like I can do a overlay and then adjust that. So I get some grain, but it's like a lighter version of my grain. Something like that. So it's exposing underneath. The, yeah, so the grain doesn't just disappear when it gets worn away. All right, I'll see you in the next video.